Hi, I'm Joachim for Statistics Globe and in this video I'll explain how to replace values in a vector using the R programming language. In the video I'm going to show you several examples and the first example is based on the vector vector that we can create with line 2 of the code. So if you run this line of code you can see at the top right of R Studio that a new vector object appears which is called x and we can print this vector to the R Studio console at the bottom and then you can see that our vector contains six elements and five vector levels which are called a, b, c, d and e. Now let's assume that we want to replace one of the elements in our vector vector. Then we might try to use the code that you can see in lines five and six and in line five of the code I'm first duplicating our data because I want to keep an original version of our vector. So if you run this line of code you can see that a duplicate is appearing at the top right of our input vector which is called x warning and in line 6 of the code I'm trying to replace the third element of this vector by the new value new. However if you run line 6 of the code you can see that at the bottom in the RStudio console the warning message invalid vector level and a generated has been returned. And you can see what happened when you run line 8 of the code because after running this line of code you can see at the bottom the updated vector that we have created and as you can see we have replaced the third value by an NA value instead of the value new that we wanted to insert. So the reason for that is that the value new or the character string new is not existing in our factor vector yet. And for that reason we first need to convert our factor vector to a character vector as you can see in lines 10 and 11. So in line 10 I'm again creating a duplicate of our input vector because as I mentioned before I want to keep an original version of our vector. So if you run line 10 of the code you can see that a new data object called x new one is appearing at the top right. And in line 11 of the code I'm applying the s character function to this vector object. And then I'm storing the output of this again in the data object x new one. So in other words we are updating the class of our vector object x new one. So we are converting our class from the vector class to the character class. So if you run line 11 of the code our data object is updated to be a character. And then in line 12 of the code I'm using basically the same R programming syntax as I already did in line 6. However this time if you run line 12 of the code you can see that no warning message was returned because this time we have replaced a value in a character vector instead of a vector vector. And then afterwards we can convert our character back to the vector class using the sVector function as you can see in line 13. So if you run this line of code our vector is converted back to the vector class and in line 14 of the code I'm printing the new vector to the RStudio console and now you can see that we have successfully replaced the third element of our vector by a new value. It is also possible to replace an entire vector level of a vector object and this is what I want to show you in the next example starting in line 16 of the code. So again I'm duplicating our data because I want to keep an original version of the vector. So if you run line 16 of the code you can see that a new data object called x new 2 is appearing at the top right. And in line 17 of the code I'm using the levels function to replace the vector level C by a new vector level. So if you run line 17 of the code our vector is updated once again and we can print our updated vector to the RStudio console by running line 18 of the code and then you can see at the bottom that this time we have replaced the third element of our input vector. However we have also replaced the last element because this element was also the same vector level as the third element. So in other words we have replaced all C's in our vector vector by the new value new. So in the first and in the second example I have explained how to replace values in a vector vector. However it is also possible to replace vector levels in a data frame 
And this is what I want to show you in the next example of this tutorial, starting in line 20 of the code. So in lines 20 and 21, I'm creating a data frame. So after running these lines of code, you can see that a new data frame object appears at the top right of RStudio, which is called data. And we can print this data frame to the RStudio console by running line 22 of the code. And then you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that we have created a new data set with three rows and two columns called x1 and x2. Now in line 24, I'm duplicating our data because also in this case, I want to keep an original version of our data set. So if you run line 24 of the code, you can see that a new data frame object appears at the top right, which is called data new. And now we can replace the values in the factor column x1, similarly to what we have done already before in the previous examples. However, this time we are replacing the values in a column instead of a vector. So if you run line 26 of the code, our vector column x1 is updated to be a character. Then in line 27, I'm replacing the first element of this column by the new value hello. So if you run line 27 of the code, our data is updated. And if you run line 28 of the code, the character class is transformed back to the factor class. So after running this line of code, the column x1 is a factor again. So if we now print the data set to the RStudio console again, you can see that we have replaced the first cell of the first column x1 in our data set by the new value hello. Similar to the second example, we can also use the levels function to replace an entire factor level in a data frame column. So if you run line 30 of the code, the factor level AAA in the column X2 is replaced by the new factor level Hey. So if you run line 30, our data is updated again. And we can see that by printing line 32. And after running this line of code, you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that we have replaced the factor level AAA by the new factor level Hey. So in this video, I have explained how to replace values in a factor using the R programming language. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail and I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. Furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.